There have been lots of questions over the years, at least, but certainly with the new V12 releases of software from Vectric about whether you can run them and whether they perform reasonably well on Mac OS of various types running either Parallels or VMware Fusion. So I happen to have both an older 2019 iMac running an Intel processor. You can see the specs of it here, along with a six month old MacBook Air with the M2 processor in it, that we can do a sort of a side-by-side -side comparison, sort of because I run Parallels on the MacBook Pro and I run Fusion on the iMac. So let's start with the iMac with Fusion and let's start with VCarve Pro version 12. So this is it here. Actually, let me shut it down. So it's shut down and let's go ahead and launch it. And it's launching. It's come up. You can see how the performance on launching the application is not bad. So let's go take a look at one of the files that I previously created. Not a terribly complex file, but it's also not a trivial file. So you can kind of get an idea of what that looks like. And let's go into the 3D view and take a look at one of the projections here. The important part though is, is that I'm running on an Intel Mac in a Fusion virtual machine on Windows 11. And you can see the scrolling behavior, the zooming behavior, all of that is quite acceptable. It's a little bit slower than my high-end Windows box. It's running 11 that has 16 cores. It has a fairly beefy GPU at the time I put this system together two years ago, but this is quite acceptable. So that's VCarve Pro 12 on a Mac OS. This is the latest Mac OS, Sonoma 14.3.1. Okay. So that's VCarve Pro. So let's shut that down. Okay. So we saw the performance of VCarve Pro 12 version 12 on Mac OS on an Intel processor, actually an iMac from 2019. And now we're going to take a look at the specs of this MacBook Air first. So this has got the Apple M2 chip in it. It has 16 gigs of memory and it's running Sonoma 14.4.1. I'm running the latest release of Parallels. And so now let's launch uh, VCarve Pro 12. Click and a couple of seconds loaded. There we go. And uh, this is zoomed up to the full window so we can get a better view of it. And now let's open a car file that I previously created just so we can see what that looks like. Here it is. And let's take a look at the 3D view because that's where you see the greatest impact of performance. And here that is, you can see me scrolling with my mouse, zooming in and out. I'm gonna click on it and rotate the thing all over the place. I'm gonna grab the little guy up here and move that around. Sorry if it's making you dizzy, that's not my intent. The intent is to show you the fantastic performance that running VCarve Pro V12 on Parallels on an M2 Macintosh has. From my own experience running VCarve Pro V12 on Parallels on this M2 Mac, it definitely performs faster and more crisply and looks better. The, the graphics are cleaner than on my high-end desktop Windows PC running Windows 11. So it's quite a good way to work. And in fact, this is my go-to now. I do everything on my laptop. I've got a large uh, monitor here. Actually, it's a 38 inch curved Dell monitor. So I've, <laughs> I'm pretty much <laughs> like looking at a movie screen and I'm running it off of my MacBook and it's been extremely high performing. And then just for grins, let's go ahead and recalculate all toolpaths, how quickly it, it goes. Yeah, we know that it's gonna cut through materials. That's the intent. Oops. Okay, and that was it. Very, very quick. I'm really, really pleased with the performance of, of VCarve Pro, especially the, v, the V12 release with all the enhancements in the 3D viewer, not only in terms of performance, but also in features like showing the 2D vector drawings right on the 3D view and all of the toolbar uh, buttons so you can actually enable and disable various elements like 
If you don't want to see the vectors, you can turn those off and then turn on the toolpaths. Uh, so quite usable and in fact, arguably even better performance than many high-end PCs and GPUs. So let's go ahead and close this down. And now let's take a look at Aspire. I click Aspire, V12, a couple of seconds, it's loaded. Let's go ahead and maximize that. Okay, so let's open a car file, the same one that we were just looking at. And here we are. Let's go into that 3D view again. And again, you know, I'm scrolling around, I'm zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. I'm gonna grab the 3D navigator up here and move that around, click on that. No performance difference from VCarve Pro, which is to be expected. So again, extremely fast, extremely responsive. Just a great overall solution if you're a Mac user and want to run the uh, Vectric software, VCarve Pro V12 or Aspire V12, especially if you've got an M1 or an M2 Mac. My prior MacBook Air was an M1-based MacBook and similar results. It was very quick, scrolling in the 3D view, zooming in and out and navigating around, orbiting in the 3D view, quite responsive, absolutely no problems whatsoever, very usable solution. And so just to follow up on what we did with VCarve Pro, let's recalculate all the toolpaths so you can see what that looks like. And again, I do the cut throughs on all of these parts. So that's going to show me all these little warnings, but you can see how fast that went. That was, uh, you know, there's a lot of toolpaths here to generate and I just whipped right through them very, very quickly. Very responsive. So that's it. I think for us Macintosh users out there that want to run the Vectric software. I can only speak to VCarve Pro and Aspire, especially the version 12 releases that just came out. They're quite usable running in either Fusion or in parallel virtual machines on Windows 11. I don't currently have a Windows 10 uh, installation that I can test on, so unfortunately I couldn't do that. And I currently don't have Fusion on my M2 MacBook Air, and I don't have Parallels on the uh, 2019 iMac. But I think you can kind of get an overall view that we've got each end of the spectrum of performance sort of covered here. And both ends are quite serviceable, especially if you only want to have one computer and that being a Macintosh to run uh, your Vectric software on and, and your other tools that you might be using. So that's it. Good luck. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment. I'm happy to answer any questions about running these Vectric products on Macintoshes. I do it all the time. I've been doing it for years and have never had a problem with it. Thanks.